you recognize this equipment, known as Instrument Landing Systems, or ILS. Whether it's rainy and overcast or a bright sunny day, this equipment is the primary method of guiding aircraft to the runway safely, and you have a direct impact on how it functions. Localizers provide lateral guidance to the aircraft, while glide slope antennas provide vertical guidance. But it isn't just the equipment that matters. The ground in front of the localizer and glide slope is known as the ILS critical area, and it is crucial to providing an accurate signal to the aircraft. Anything in the critical area that can block or reflect the signals can cause ILS interference, causing instrument fluctuations on aircraft or even causing the ILS to shut down. This can adversely affect inbound aircraft that are within or outside of your line of sight. The first step to preventing unreliable ILS guidance signals is knowing where the critical area is. While it is impossible to mark the entire area, it is identified with signs and markings on roads and taxiways. Please become familiar with these and ask the FAA technicians for more details about your critical area sizes and locations. The next important step is to maintain the critical areas. Do not permit vegetation or grass to exceed 12 inches in height. Do not permit the growth of any agricultural crops or allow hay bales within the critical area. Be attentive to placement of snow or dirt piles placed in the critical area and utilize procedures in snow and ice control plans to prevent high levels of snow accumulation. Coordinate with the FAA when operating vehicles or when planning to use mowers and snow removal equipment in the critical area. And if there is no tower to coordinate surface traffic with, be extra vigilant when operating vehicles in and around the critical areas. Working together, we can protect the signal that's provided to the pilot and make everyone safer.